Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to upload files to your remote site. Before attempting to upload files, make sure that you have completed all of the previous lessons in this chapter. When you are communicating with your remote site, you will be doing two main things, getting and putting files. Getting files from the remote server is the same thing as downloading files from the internet. You bring a copy of a file from a remote computer to your local computer. Putting files is the same as uploading files to a web server. You are sending copies of files from your local computer to a remote site. Let's look at how this works. First, make sure that the Files panel is expanded within the Dreamweaver workspace so that you can see all of its buttons as well as the windows that show the remote server and local files. The Get and Put buttons are located in the Files panel. The Get button is green and points downward. The Put button is blue and points upward. You can remember which is which by thinking about how getting and downloading are the same, so the arrow points down. Putting and uploading are the same, so the arrow points up. Let's put a file onto the remote server. I'm going to put a thumbnail image on my website. In the Local Files panel, click once to highlight the file, and then click the blue Put icon. You will see the file appear in the remote server area of the panel once the upload is complete. If you want to publish your entire site at once, the easiest thing to do is click on the root folder of your site, which contains all of the files that make up your site. That will highlight the entire folder and then click the Put button in the Files panel. This will open a pop-up window that asks if you're sure you want to publish an entire site. You can click OK. When you upload an entire site, Dreamweaver will open a background file activity window that will show you the progress as your site is put onto the remote server. Depending on how many pages, files, and large graphics are included with your site, this can take a few minutes, especially if your internet connection is slow. When the window disappears, your files have completed uploading and have now been put on the remote server. You will also see that Dreamweaver shows you the files in the remote server window now as well. Now, using the Files panel, you can easily compare your local files to your remote files. Now that your files have been uploaded to the remote server, your website should be visible on the Internet. Some hosting services, however, can take several hours to catch up with your uploaded files, and you may have to wait a bit before seeing your site online. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.